press release. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Well, Alright, first of all, can you your full name? It's uh, Paul Boudreau. Okay, and uh, you were with Occupy Ottawa. I right? am, in fact, yes. Uh, can you just tell me what you saw last night? Um, well, when I arrived on site last night, um, the park was uh, cordoned off by police. Um, and uh, police were, uh, w when I arrived, uh, police were already on site um, beginning to uh, empty the tents of people who were willing to leave. Um, it was at that point that they began to dismantle the barricade that had been set up in the central fountain. And shortly thereafter began to remove the individuals who had uh, committed to resisting within the fountain. And now some of those people uh, chose to leave of their own accord uh, and walked willingly out, um, handcuffed by the police. Um, there were others who engaged in passive resistance uh, in the form of the uh, going limp um, dead weight strategy. Um, in those cases, there was uh, varying degrees of physical respect given, um, to my mind anyways. Um, if, ranging from being dragged along the ground uh, with, him, but, uh, with the boot heels on the ground. Uh, in, one, in one individual's case, he was dragged from the fountain all the way, uh, all the way to the uh, our old armory, the drill hall, directly to the, uh, to the east of City Hall. Um, and another was put into the back of the police car um, and driven halfway there. And the third individual was actually bodily carried by officers uh, because he was un un uh, unable to walk um, and in, in a severe amount of pain. Police do acknowledge that one protester was taken to hospital and say that he was previously, it had nothing to do with their arrest. Um, I, I mean, I can't uh, speak to the extent of his injuries previous to the, uh, the arrest. Um, from what I've uh, come to understand, um, the, those injuries were incurred um, largely during the course of the arrest. Um, there may have been a minor injury that occurred earlier uh, that was certainly exacerbated by the treatment he received, but there were further injuries, um, including uh, an injury to his arm, uh, which has required him to, be, uh, to have his arm in a splint at this point. When he left hospital this morning, uh, he was unable to walk under his own power. He required a wheelchair to take him, uh, uh, take him to the car, and it's required assistance to, uh, to walk in the sense. The, the protester in question is Obert. What's his last name? Uh, Obert Madondo. Can you describe to me, you, you took video footage, what kind of treatment did you see uh, Obert Madondo getting? I watched four police uh, pick him up. Actually, sorry, just a couple of seconds. I've got to call him in. This could be the call.